Casey was going to marry a man whom she loved with all her heart. When her phone rang, the girl took it out of her bag happily as she was expecting that these were messages with congratulations. All this time, while Casey was celebrating the upcoming wedding with her close friends, her friends sent her messages with wishes of all the best, congratulating her and her fiancé on their marriage. But new messages shocked the girl. They informed her that her fiancé was not at all that ideal, faithful man she had thought him to be. The reports showed evidence that her future husband, Alex, had been dating another girl for several months. All this was described with many unpleasant details. And in the last message, there was a question. I would not marry him, would you? Casey reread all the messages several times. What was written in them did not leave any doubts. The most painful thing for the girl was that this had been going on for several months. Each word from these messages hurt me very much in the heart, the girl later told in an interview with a journalist who published the story in a local magazine. Upon learning of her fiancé's cheating, the girl, tormented with sleeplessness, decided not to cancel the wedding. A lot of money had already been spent, the guests were coming from all over the country, and the girl thought that they deserved to have a celebration, albeit not quite as expected. On the wedding day, the girl was so nervous, like any bride at this important moment. But Casey was not thinking about the long, happy family life that was coming for her. She was considering her impending revenge. The girl told that when she was walking to the altar, she felt like her wedding dress was a carnival costume. The bride and groom slowly came to the altar, the priest was ready to start the ceremony, and suddenly, Casey threw the bouquet on the floor and took out her phone. I turned to face the congregation so that I could see the faces of our friends and relatives while they were listening to the messages I was reading. I announced to everyone that there would be no wedding. Everyone was embarrassed. I read aloud all the messages I had received. In one of them, my fiancé wrote to another girl, Your body is simply unbelievable and you really know how to use it. I would like my girlfriend to be able to do at least half of what you can. In another one was written, I miss you and I can't stop thinking about what we were doing. I have never had such a wonderful relationship with anyone. Most of the messages were quite intimate, but Casey also read them aloud anyway. She wanted to humiliate Alex just as he humiliated her. Alex was shocked. He did not know how to react. Without even trying to make excuses, he ran out of the church. All of the friends and relatives learned about his betrayal. Casey said her last words, Despite everything that happened, I am very grateful to everyone who came here to my wedding. I want a celebration to take place. Yes, we will not be celebrating the wedding, but we can celebrate this day of honesty, drink for true love, which is sure to happen someday, to continue living and fighting even when everything looks bad. So despite the sad ending of the wedding and broken heart, Casey did not cancel her holiday. This story became very popular in Australia. It was published in a local magazine and on the internet. There was even a survey of readers. What would they do in such a situation? Would they do the same at the altar, or would they just cancel the wedding? Most commentators said they would do the same as Casey. Sooner or later, truth comes to light. Unfortunately, there are people like Alex. Not everyone has such willpower to behave like Casey. Others might be depressed, and who knows what this might lead to in the future. Therefore, if you can't be honest in a relationship, it is better to end it sooner than later. I hope this video was useful to you. Be sure to share it and like it, and also subscribe to the channel if you have not already done it. Bye!